stick of butter in your chicken broth? What? I love you so much. Oh, okay. It's like the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Hey everyone, I am here today with a very special guest, Chef Lisa. Yes, Lisa. Hi. Thank you for being with Thanks me. Thanks for having me here. I have never actually cooked biscuits from scratch or made chicken and dumplings. And so today Lisa is going to teach me yes. how to do both of those things and maybe Abby is going to join us at some point. So you got a new cookbook out. I do. It's called The Joy of the Feast, yes. but it's very centered around like home-cooked southern yes. cuisine. If it's, you were gonna tell someone the like, first recipe you should cook out of this book, oh my God, what would it be? It's gonna depend, okay, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the shrimp and grits because they're like, I have a one award. So. But the cookbook is completely about the remembering the joy of feasting together. But just that feeling that you get of love and acceptance and abundance even yeah. from um, feasting. There was one recipe in the book that made me so happy oh when I saw God. it. Your pineapple casserole. Oh, yay! I am, I, my mom made that when I was a kid. It just surprised me because I don't know anybody that knows about that recipe. And when I tell people about it, they're like, they're like wait, Ew, what? pineapples and, and cheese. cheese. I'm like, I promise you, <laughs> I trust it's so me good. So it made Absolutely. me, it made me so happy to see that one. So okay. today, the first thing we're gonna make is the buttermilk. buttermilk. Biscuit. So we take our flour, this is all purpose flour. We're gonna do our baking powder, baking soda, and salt. It's just okay. one teaspoon and a little sugar. Two teaspoons of sugar. Yeah. Okay. The butter just needs to be cold because it's the pockets that are left behind from the melted butter that make a flaky biscuit. So you see how the butter's kind of gotten to it? Yeah. We want it to be like walnut sized. So let's just make a little well. Okay. Abby, you want to come over here and watch? My grandmother, when she would get them all rolled out, the dumplings, mm -hmm. we would come and take pieces of them. And she would always slap our hands and tell us to stop eating. <laughs> I just want people to see yeah. what it should look like. Okay. And that way, Because this you don't have looks to be... really wet to me. It does. It looks too wet. Because we're going to flour our surface, uh -huh. we're going to knead it and pull in more flour. Literally. I can't see over here. Can't you. go wrong. Here we go. We want quite a bit, actually. Still? Yeah, yeah. More? Yeah. Okay, good. I tried That's to good. get my grandma to teach me how to make the biscuits, but she didn't have anything measured out. And she was like, well, you'll just know. And right. I was like, no, I, I won't, I won't know. But see, I'm just being really gentle with this. I'll know when it's when I feel it kind of say kick back at me. On the side, 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 side top, top bottom. bottom. Exactly. Can I try it? it? Yeah. So I don't know if you want to get dirty. Let's do it. Yeah, I want to get dirty. Let's do it. Did you just say we are very dirty people? She totally said. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <Chris. laughs> we're very, we are a little bit messy. You get it in there. Okay. You just, whichever there. order you want to go, top, bottom, so we're going to start rolling. Okay. I kind of start in the middle and go okay. out the middle and come back. Ingredient? We're just right. going to line them up. All right, you want to grab them? Yeah. These are the pieces I used to eat. Mm. I you can't like believe y'all eat them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> me, You're really missing well, out. Let me see what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. You need to taste this. Mm. Look at Abby. Look Okay, it actually is really good. See, <laughs> right, here, here you go. Here. So let's pop those in the oven. Do okay. it preheated to 400. Let's get it in. Actually, All right, so Lisa, the next thing we're gonna make is chicken and dumplings. Yes. So what's in here? All right, I literally put an entire chicken. I put it in just covered it with water, granulated chicken bouillon, three salts of celery, two carrots, one big onion, black, black pepper, black pepper, bay leaves. And it's all chopped up, just in, chopped in, it up. The, into the, with the chicken. Yeah. Boil uh, it all. Yeah. Abby's gonna uh, peel our chicken here. Yeah. I also reserved about a cup and a half of this broth. Okay. That's the only liquid that we're gonna add to that flour to make the dumpling. And this is gonna go back into a rolling boil so we can drop our dumplings in and oh, they're done. Uh, that, that's our biscuit. Take a look. See what they look like. Wow. So okay, five more minutes. We've yeah. got the chicken going. We've got the, the, the stock going. Yeah. And now we're going to make Don't some dumplings. I think I did five hours on the timer. <laughs> it's at 4.56, so we know if you said five minutes, it's got one more minute on there. Oh, um, I kind of forgot something. I also put a stick of butter in the chicken. You put a stick of butter in your chicken broth? What? I love you so much. Oh, okay. Much. <laughs> I've heard, yeah, yeah. It's like the best thing I've ever heard. 
So a anyway. stick of butter in your broth. In the broth. That's yeah. Neat. So so therefore, there is butter in here. There's fat in here. While you make this, I have to ask you. <laughs> you were on Chopped. <laughs> it's the um, Black History Month yes. episode. The first time ever that Chopped had an all black cast of chefs and judging panel. Okay. Like, so it was kind of a historic situation. Okay. Were you intimidated by who the other chefs were? Not at all. Okay. Did you know any of them? Uh, or no. Know of them? No, not at all. But all right, so they're wait. super cool Pause people. Pause for a second. Tell me what you're doing. Just getting, now this obviously is like biscuits, right? Right. Do you want this to be like, almost paper thin to be honest. You want them thin? Yeah. Or our biscuits. Oh, oh shoot. Biscuits. Our biscuits. Oh, they're fine. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, they're actually perfect. Look at her Look biscuits. at the flaky. Whoa, yeah, you can Abby. Right here. So, all right, load I up like your that. load up your fingers. Okay. All right, so when you were on Chopped. Yeah. How hard was it to How cook hard? under strict time? Like, okay. I'm really good at time management, but it's different. It's a different kind of pressure. You have this great thing you want to execute. Uh -huh. And you got a lot of pieces and parts going on and that time's just going down and, and it takes longer to plate than you think it's uh -huh. gonna take you to plate. So you, you put them in and you don't want them to touch? You just, or you don't just care? Just drop them in. The rolling boil is what circulates. But once you pull it out, taste it, and you're like, yep, that's it. Then put that chicken in. All right, I think we're ready. Let's go. Wow. Both of these meals look just... Now you're not gonna find this anywhere in any restaurant. You gotta make this at home, y'all. This is where the love is mm. all right which one are, what are we gonna taste first okay hang on first i have to ask you something okay I, I i don't know if you're gonna tell me but i feel i figure like i'm a kid so you probably will tell me what? did you win chomp i can't tell you. <laughs> all right what are we tasting first taste the dumplings first. amazing mm. <laughs> what do you think ab i haven't tried it yet but oh my, my little nibble but it's, it's hot guys Abby, you're killing me here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's delicious. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yum. Perfection. So good. Perfection. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, I should probably finish not talking my mouth. <laughs> Full. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking with Chef Lisa. Cooking with Holly and Abby and Chef Lisa. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure you like, Subscribe, hit the notifications, leave us a comment, let us know if you made Chef Lisa's chicken and dumplings or her biscuits, or make sure you go follow Chef Lisa. Tell them how they can follow you. At Chef Lisa Brooks on all social media. At Chef Lisa Brooks, make sure you follow her. Leave us a comment below. Let us know what you're making for dinner tonight, and we'll see you back here next time. Bye. She's gonna have to wash her hands again.